I have always felt that people have a right to know that not, not every detail, but uh, as long as the official investigation is conducted, then we must have some summation to the public, so public will not be constantly gossiping or curious uh, to the point that they, they start uh, uh, developing a conspiracy theory to various uh, uh, strange uh, response to the uh, very simple uh, the cause of man of death. So I deliberately, I took a mission in the public education and uh, any time we have uh, cases, not only they give adequate uh, information, but I have participated in the discussion among uh, public health issues or child abuse or maybe sometimes uh, uh, debate on the uh, death penalty versus uh, uh, abolitions. And uh, those uh, uh, opportunity I was very eager to uh, uh, accept. The reason is we have not done job uh, reaching out uh, and so every year when I was a chief medical examiner I was approached by radios and sometimes television uh, just before Christmas and I have a short message um, uh, now Christmas uh, is coming and uh, I, I was message Drive carefully. I hate to see you in my office. That kind of a uh, public-oriented message. And I always felt when the police department has either overwhelmed, unable to cover uh, certain uh, districts of the area, I'm sure the public will be uh, uneasy. And that's what the, our medical examiners should be in the same way, if I may. One, uh, it's early 1970. There was uh, after a torrentious rain in California, seldom we have rain, something like that. So, uh, Soften the soil, the, top of the uh, hillside. And then second uh, wave of the uh, uh, heavy rain. Finally, topsoil, maybe due to uh, Gulford's uh, hole, gave off and they, they're sliding down to the shopping centers and residential area. The problem was there was containing over 100 caskets. Grave, the, the cemetery were actually sliding down. Uh, I heard the uh, radio. I told my chief of staff, I am going to the scene. Uh, then I was advised that uh, the coroner, coroner, you don't have a jurisdiction on the cemetery. What I said, I don't care. The public do not know the law, but uh, somebody, the dead bodies on the street, with the waters and so forth, I must be there. And uh, from the scene, I was talking to the mayor of the city. I wanted the public uh, uh, works to come and help us. That kind of auction, uh, auction oriented public service is in sometimes necessary to raise the consciousness public awareness and the public uh, support. My father was otolaryngologist, it means uh, ear, nose and throat specialist. Uh, when I was, I think, uh, about 12 or 13, it's in Japan. Uh, as an uh, oldest son, uh, I'm expected to uh, 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 follow his footsteps. And uh, almost uh, every day I uh, visited uh, uh, my father's uh, clinic, which is near the uh, uh, house. And one day, 
I felt something commotion when I opened the door and uh, my father was giving a CP uh, to uh, uh, young, young means about the mid-20-ish year person. And uh, at that time I was not aware, but uh, later on he was accused uh, um, by a uh, county attorney that uh, he, may be, he may have made a medical error. He was uh, actually uh, treating a sore throat those days, uh, before penicillin time. So that traditionally they use iodine uh, uh, solutions to swab the throat uh, to, uh, to control the sore, uh, soreness. Uh, uh, after my father requested the autopsy be done, after autopsy, only to find out it was not his fault, but actually uh, the pe person was uh, allergic to uh, iodine solutions, and uh, that was the reason for it. And uh, at that moment, I learned, I felt I was 13. I felt there will be some day practice of medicine and practice law will be in conflict. I wanted to go into medicine a law field, not knowing uh, you know, uh, all the field. That, uh, and uh, so I went to medical school and the night that I went to law school. And you know, never sleep and keep going. And uh, I came to the United States because I uh, did not come here for, to learn, but I want to uh, uh, develop a new field of uh, a practice of medicine with a, uh, a much of a, a legal uh, implication. And uh, in a way, I succeeded. I practice a uh, basic principle of uh, impartial uh, 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 search for uh, evidence, that kind of thing. Uh, divorced from any emotional feeling toward death or dead person or dead family, but more scientific. So uh, there are famous cases I remember, but I have not particularly felt this uh, joy. Uh, death is uh, sad to the family, and uh, however, there are uh, something you can learn from that. Personally, uh, I consider it one of the highest uh, uh, recognition uh, in the field of forensic sciences, and it is selected by peer. Uh, 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 I even consider uh, equivalent to a Nobel Prize. Uh, that's much of a, a recognition that I uh, treasure. I, when I received the announcement, and I said, why me? <laughs> I said, uh, but uh, people have been very kind. I have been a member of the uh, Academy uh, for almost half a century. I seldom missed uh, many meetings in the past because of my duty as a medical examiner. Uh, it uh, brings me warm feeling, and, uh, but I will also be dedicated to share my excitement, my knowledge to the younger generations. I would like to share uh, my feeling of uh, excitement. Be enthusiastic. Uh, uh, not be afraid. Take a new uh, challenge and, uh, and uh, opportunity is immense. Often time we don't think it is an opportunity, uh, but the, uh, once the opportunity is uh, clear to you, then I'd like for them to uh, focus it, continue uh, pursue their lifetime challenge of uh, forensic science. Life is uh, important to the point we need to seriously address the issue when death occurs, not be forgotten, because a deceased person may have left a message for us, us to understand.